Blessings in Jesus, dear friends. We're coming to the close of the civil year 2019, looking forward to 2020. Hanukkah is coming, followed by Feast of the Nativity and the Secular New Year. As usual, we try to give a summation of the previous year as we look forward to the new one, a very brief one. We don't want to bore people with a lot of figures and stats, but we will tell you the good news and we'll tell you some of the not so good news. I'll begin with the good news, the successes and blessings the Lord has given us in 2019. Despite tremendous opposition from people who at one time had been our friends over doctrinal issues, our, our belief that the gospel is eternal and that the blood of animals can never take away sin, etc., and the attack that we came under for representing and upholding this position and what de derived from it and the ugly fights that happened. Things we didn't want, but we couldn't compromise on the doctrine. It was not easy. But despite this, we have seen a near tripling since January 1st of 2019, a near tripling of our viewership and subscribers in Moriel TV. This has been remarkable. It was nearly 180% by the 31st of October. It will be nearly 190% by the close of the year, certainly, if not a 200% increase. That is a total of three times as many. This is absolutely incredible. With the opposition we've had and the attacks we've undergone on the internet by all kinds of people, people saying crazy things that, that I was under investigation, which <laughs> I'm glad someone told me because I didn't know about it. We've never been investigated by anyone anywhere. No judicial body is investigating us, but people put this nonsense out that I was profiteering from uh, the sale of recorded material. How do you profiteer from what you give away for free on the internet. It's all available online for download, yet I profiteered from it. And somehow uh, a cult is an organization whose, whose leader abuses the members, and I'm a cult leader. How can I abuse members when Moriel has no membership? <laughs> we, we, we have no members to abuse. But this is the kind of desperation our opponents have, have come out with, simply because they can't fault us on our doctrinal position. It's been a very ugly series of attacks, but by the hand of God, we have grown radically. If everything had gone well in 2019, going back to 2018, if everything had gone well, we would not have anticipated such a degree of growth in terms of subscriptions and viewership. We thank the Lord and we thank you. We've also opened our first permanent branch on continental Europe in Holland. It's doing quite well. It's based in Utrecht in the Netherlands. We had a small satellite of the UK and still have in Denmark, but now we actually have a Moriel Europe branch based in the Netherlands. This has been good. We've also acquired the property in India to construct the orphanage in Andhra Pradesh. Construction will begin soon. The property is now in our possession for the Lord's work in India. We're going to begin progressively and build it up over a period of time. India is new turf to us. But the Philippines, which is not new turf, the new children's mission completely monsoon-proof is now built, and I'll be dedicating it in a few days in Alangapo in the Philippines. We're going there now for the dedication and for the children's annual Christmas party. It should be quite an event. It will be filmed uh, by Radio Atsma'u TV. Charles Jardine will be joining us from Scotland. And we just thank the Lord for what he's enabled us to do. Our work is going quite well in Thailand, it's going quite well in India, it's going quite well in Europe, and the growth on the internet and on internet TV has been absolutely astronomical. 
All of these things have been God's blessing. On the downside, when we began giving our material away for free download, we trusted the Lord for the finance. We're no longer gaining any revenue to finance the ministry's operation from the sale of materials because it's given away. We no longer have to charge people for postage, packaging, copying costs, DVD or CD covers or any of that. We just give it away. And we give it away. Freely we receive, freely we give. But it has caused a decline in revenue simply because we're giving it away. We do ask for your prayers. We do not ask for money from anyone but the Lord. Now, we're not in any financial trouble or anything of that nature. We are able to go forward and expand our work and fund our missions and so forth. We're not in any financially desperate straits. But we are down in certain areas financially because largely of giving away so much material for free that at one time bought in some revenue that supported the ministry. So for this, we do ask your prayers. The Lord will meet the need. He always has. And we know he's going to continue to do so in the future. A new Morial church is being uh, planted in Holland, and there may be another new Morial church being planted in northern Thailand that will be Burmese, Myanmar, Burmese speaking for refugees from Burma. It is likely that we'll begin a second church in northern Thailand near the Burma border. Once more, we thank God for these areas of important growth and blessing. At the same time, it's been a very sad year, not because of the attacks that we've had, but because one brother and one sister who were essential to Moriel have gone to be with the Lord. Their gain is our loss. In Australia, Sister Margaret Godwin has gone to be with Jesus after a long battle with emphysema. She never even smoked, battled emphysema cruelly. Now we have a wonderful new administration in place in Australia, run by Aggie and Mila, and you'll be hearing more about them in the future. But Marg is now with Jesus. We will see her again. But in the meantime, the loss is a sorry one for us. Her gain, our loss. Likewise, the founder of Moriel in South Africa, Brother Fred Blomkamp, has gone to be with the Lord within a month of Marg. It was a double barrel loss, and it was very, again, painful. We asked prayer for his wife, Wendy, his son, Lee, and his family. We asked prayer for his house church. We ask that you'll be remembering Fred's family in your prayers. There would be no Moriel in Southern Africa had it not been for Fred Blomkamp, who began the work there and pioneered it. He also was instrumental in beginning the work, uh, not only for Moriel, but helping with the work of Ebion in support of Dave Royal's work with the AIDS children in the early days. The loss of Fred is incalculable, as is the loss of Margaret. Fred's gain, our loss, but these things have been difficult. We're also going to be having certain changes in the new year. Uh, in Japan, Vima will likely be coming back to the UK with his Japanese wife, and Shota will be taking over the work in Tokyo. More about that closer to the time, but there will be changes taking place in Moriel, Japan, simply for family reasons. There will also be changes taking place in the United States with Moriel and Moriel TV. The growth of his own ministry, uh, Service Christus, has caused Joshua to be overloaded. Hence, Joshua Chavez will be handing over the work of Moriel TV to another person who we're going to announce soon. We have him, but we need to finalize arrangements before we go any further. But early in the new year, Joshua will be taking over his own work on a full-time basis and laying down his work with Moriel, for which we are extremely grateful. 
the tremendous growth that we've had this year was to a large degree, although God's hand and God's blessing, the efforts of Joshua, and we cannot begin to repay him. He will, of course, be still associated with Moriel. He'll still be working in tandem with us and so forth on, on various projects. It's not an end of the relationship, but it will be a handover of the TV production in the main. Finally, Dina Dresner, who's been with Moriel over 25 years, she will be taking over the role as the Moriel regional rep in the north of England for Yorkshire and handing over her role as my booking secretary. With the growth of internet, with my health issues, I itinerate or go on itinerary a lot less in Great Britain and elsewhere than I once did. Although I travel a lot, there are fewer meetings. Beryl Hunter, who organizes our conference in the UK, will sem simply be managing my entire diary. Dina will be concentrating on the work of Moriel in Yorkshire and continuing with the ministry on a regional basis, although she will be continuing to help Beryl at least for an interim period. Those changes will be coming about in the new year. But again, how do you begin to thank people like Dina after so many years? Or Joshua, who turned Moriel around in terms of Moriel TV and made it a success? How do we thank such people? Above all, how do we thank the Lord Jesus? These changes are coming about, but we know the Lord has his hand on all of them. Thank you so much for listening. Please keep us in prayer for the forthcoming year. Have a wonderful Hanukkah, have a wonderful Nativity, and have a wonderful New Year. Adonai Yisrael, 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 Adonai Yisrael,